So we did a video like in 2018 talking about um, how traditional martial arts still fit or don't fit into uh, modern society, especially for combat. Uh, we went into what you need to do to make it uh, useful, but we didn't really go into how we got here. So the long and the short of it is that uh, martial arts as it was taught by Chan Tai San or taught to Chan Tai San and then passed on to us, uh, unfortunately had gone through hand from uh, one teacher to a student, uh, usually someone who might be in a triad or might be a police officer or someone who needed to use the skills every day, uh, fighting, collecting money, uh, extorting, whatever it is, but they were fighting people. Uh, they weren't lay people and they weren't, it wasn't being done for, me, for making money. So the idea of the professional martial arts instructor having 200 students in a school and, and teaching a bunch of kids and all that wasn't part of the Kung Fu world. Uh, usually it was taught, you know, you learn daggers, you learn butterfly swords, you learn staff, saber, all that because you could use it. You learned how to use a gun. You learned how to fight with your fists and your hands and your feet and everything. And, and the idea was that you were going to use these skills and you were tough already. So now you take that and you give it to people who aren't trained, people who don't have that natural toughness, and things change. It's not as relevant anymore. So now when you see somebody who's an MMA fighter or a kickboxer, they get used to getting hit on a regular basis, that's a different mentality. That's the same as a thug mentality. And unfortunately, uh, if you're going to defend yourself, you need to prepare yourself for that kind of thing. And the training has to be such. It can't be monks and, and forms and, and all that. I do forms. I do weapons. I hit the bag. I work with partners, spar. Uh, these are all things that you need to do as a martial artist. It's not just about uh, doing the forms and meditation and qigong and, and enlightenment and all that. And my kung fu will defeat everybody. It doesn't work that way. You really have to put your skills into practice. You have to be practical with everything that you do. Um, there's no way around that. And there are superior people. Um, there may be styles that are better shaped or better suited for fighting, but superior styles that way, I, mean, I don't believe that. I believe that the, the individual has a lot to do with what goes on, their environment, how they're brought along. And that's important for us in our training to think about and to apply.